I'm giving my fridge one last final clean out. I'm going shopping right away tomorrow morning. So I'm just trying to clear everything out. I'm getting ready to take out scraps of my chickens. I'll show you guys that. And then this is just what it's looking like towards the end of the month. Um, this is for dinner tonight. This is going to be dinner for tomorrow. This is stew meat. We're going to do kebabs because I'm going to have a ton of fresh vegetables from going grocery shopping. So that's what this is for. And then this is just turkey bacon. I'm going to make a pasta carbonara tonight. So... Other than that, we are pretty barren. Our snack drawer finally was emptied out just now. So we're gone on snacks, at least like fruits and veggies and cheese and stuff. But like I said, we're going shopping tomorrow. Not the big of a deal. When I have leftovers that are in, when I have leftovers that are in pots and pans and I'm about to go grocery shopping, I need every ounce of fridge room because that baby hand. I only have one fridge so I'm going to take all this and put it into a smaller container that's just easier store takes up less room and that's how I make sure I have enough room to actually store everything I need to store. Thank you. Are you my helper? Is that rice good? Good. Good. Mmm. Yummy. So here I'm just making my meal plan. If you were ever curious on how I make my meal plans, I have a whole video on that. I will we'll leave it down below. But I basically just grab a piece of paper and list it 1 through 30 or however many days there are in that month. I'll write out as many meals as I can think of and then I'll turn to Pinterest for ideas or old meal plans. Sometimes we eat the same meal more than once. I always like to put in a leftovers day as well. We do this thing called a leftover buffet where I take out all the leftovers in the fridge and you can have a little of this, a little of that. It just helps uh, make sure that we're using those leftovers and it gives me one day where I don't really have to cook. So I'll do that, but that's my meal plan. The last thing I still have to do before I actually do my shopping is turn my meal plan into a grocery list. If you want to see how I do that, I made a whole video on that last month. I'll link it down below. But basically, I just section off my meat, my cheese, um, anything that I need multiples of and usually that is like meat cheese spaghetti sauces marinara sauces uh, Cans of tomatoes, and then I make a section just for special items this month I ran out of a lot of pantry staples. I need sugar. I need salt uh, Ran out of chocolate chip anything special that the kids request uh, so That'll be like any special kind of ice cream or any special kind of snack toilet paper uh, shampoo conditioner razors things like that, that we're not always out of. I make a section for that. So I'm just gonna write everything down so it's easy for me to comprehend what I need and what I don't when I'm actually grocery shopping. Like I said, a full in-depth video on all of that will be linked in the description box if you are struggling with that. Here's what I think is my final list. These are all my meats, cheeses, uh, these are sauces and stuff, uh, a couple extra things I don't wanna forget, and this is my miscellaneous list. I started these because I really don't want to forget these. I follow Aldi on Instagram and I saw that they have like the special butters from, I cannot remember what it's called, but they have these butters that are the cinnamon and sugar, honey, um, like olive and garlic or something like that. And I want to look for those. And then I saw in their flyer uh, for this week that all of their like cream of chickens and cream of mushrooms are on sale. They're, I think, 40 cents a can, so I want to stock up on those. So there's some stuff there. Joel will actually walk into Aldi. He is probably going to be grocery shopping with me, so he will have this list, and he will get the things that are on here. And I'm going to take my meal plan. I can look at the meal plan and just know what I need to grab uh, for everything else. So that's why I have them on two sheets of paper however if I were doing this by myself I would have just flipped this piece of paper over and wrote all these on the back of this or what you could do also is just text the person a picture of this we do that sometimes too so this is how we do it this is what works for us so these two pieces of paper will be coming with me tomorrow but that is all of my prep work basically so step one clean your fridge and your pantry make room for all the new stuff Make your meal plan, which we have here, which is step two. And of course, step three, which is the meal or the grocery list, I guess. And then it's the actual grocery shopping, which will happen uh, tomorrow morning. After I have cleaned out my fridge, my pantry, made my meal plan, and then made my grocery list, I will head into the Walmart online grocery app. 
and put in my Walmart order. I like to do this for a couple reasons. It keeps me in budget because I can see my running total and I can always delete things, add things in later, but I like to put in my initial Walmart order before I go grocery shopping at Aldi. That way, if I go shopping at Aldi and say their produce didn't look good or something that I was planning on Aldi having and they didn't, I can always go back and add that to my Walmart order because typically Aldi's prices are better. So if I can get it at Aldi, I would like to, but if they don't have it, it didn't look good. I'll go back and add that to my Walmart order. That way I have enough time to add that to my order before I have to go pick it up. So I usually like to schedule my Walmart order to be picked up like the day after I go to Aldi because I can't really do it all in one trip. My car only has uh, so much capacity to carry all these groceries and children and such. So I have to do them in two separate days, my Aldi haul and my Walmart haul because my car simply cannot carry that much stuff. So that's just how the cookie crumbles. All right, you guys, so I am in the Aldi parking lot now. I'm about to head in and do my once a month shopping. I have both my lists in my purse. I thought my husband was gonna be coming with me. He decided not to. Our youngest desperately needed a nap, so he stayed at home with him and my second youngest. I put in my Walmart order this morning. That's not due to be picked up until tomorrow morning. So whatever I want to get here and I can't, I'll just go home and add to my Walmart order and then I'll have everything I need. Hopefully my Walmart order came to like $300, I think right around $300. And that's a lot more than I really wanted it to be. But as my kids are growing, my grocery budget is quickly increasing like every time. So it just kind of sucks. It seems like every month we need more and more, but that's it's just how it is also we ran out of a lot of things this month like toilet paper um i need more stain remover for laundry which is kind of expensive those bulk those big purchase items that you always need shampoo conditioner all that stuff we ran out of so a lot of big ticket items this month probably 150 of that was just my like big ticket items i'm also out of some cleaning supplies that i need to go and get but that is a different run for a different day. That also comes out of this budget though. So I'm definitely going over this month. I would need somewhere between like 50 and $75 for my mid month haul, which is just fresh fruit, fresh vegetables and more milk. Uh, I'm definitely going over this month, probably by about $150, but it is what it is. It's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes when we run out of those big ticket items. But because of that, because I would go over this month next month i should be under budget so there's always an ebb and flow it just kind of is how it is but we're gonna run in do my shopping go home do my haul all that stuff so let's go do some shopping so running into aldi here just doing the shopping that i need grabbing those couple of things going off my meal plan my grocery list things like that getting everything i need and heading on out of there about as quick as i can because aldi is it takes a lot to do all day, I'm not gonna lie. I just got out, here's what my cart looks like at the end. I sometimes need two carts. I'm that person that when they come into the checkout line, all the Aldi shopper or like all the Aldi checkout people are like, please don't go in my line, please don't go in my line. Yeah, that's me. Back home now, I laid out all my groceries uh, and real life behind the scenes. A real life behind the scenes on my messy kitchen counter, but got some stuff over here featuring dirty dishes. A ton of stuff over here so now I'm gonna hop into my grocery haul if you guys want to see that full in-depth video I will link it it'll probably already be up so putting away the food is definitely the thing that takes the longest and the most energy if you want to see how I package bulk meat for my freezers I have a whole video on that I'll link it down below it's a no equipment needed bulk meat packaging getting ready for the freezer kind of thing this month i didn't have anything that i needed to break down so i didn't have to do that this month but if i had meat that i had to break down i would either put it in my fridge and do it the next day because doing the grocery shopping the haul and putting everything away can be a lot especially when it's aldi it takes a lot of energy because you have to package or you have to put all your own groceries in bags that's what helps keep the price down so it can be a lot when you get home. So if I don't feel like doing it, I'll just throw all that meat in my fridge and do it the next day. Uh, that way it's still good. I can throw it in my freezer whenever, but that video will be linked below. But what I like to do is put all my fridge stuff away first. Then I'll move on to all my pantry stuff. I'll take anything out of a box that I can, like the big box of fruit snacks you see there. I'll open that and dump that out in a bin we have in our pantry for our kids. 
And what you see me doing here is I'm putting all my freezer stuff back into those Aldi bags because I have to carry those bags down into our basement to throw into my chest freezer. And it's easier to carry the whole bags down versus one item at a time. I'll also do that with anything that goes on my food storage shelf, which I'll show you guys a little bit later in the video. But that's how I do that. I just kind of package everything into those bags and I'll carry them down into the basement. It makes it a whole lot easier. Just got home from picking up the Walmart order. Got it all laid out, ready to do my grocery haul. Baby Colty. Hi, Colty. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Stopped and got myself a little something something on the way home. It's just after 10. I'm gonna hop in to film my haul. If you wanna see the full haul, that video will probably be up. I'll link it below. If not, look out for it, it will be up. Just a little bit of puppy love for your day. But I'm doing the same thing that I did with my Aldi haul, with my Walmart haul, throwing that stuff right back in those bags, carrying them down into the basement, and then here is that food storage shelf you heard me talking about earlier, just putting everything um, up on this shelf. This is, the larger this is the larger of my two freezers. I try to keep my bread products on top to keep them from getting smushed. Once they're frozen, it doesn't really matter, but just as they're freezing, keep them on top. Try not to smush them because then you're gonna have smushed bread. This is our second freezer. We try to keep mostly meat in here, but sometimes I just run out of room. Uh, this is mostly filled with just game meat. <laughs> so we have like venison on the bottom, bear meat on the bottom. I think we have a couple rolls of elk in here. So just different kinds of things, but had a little bit of overflow. So keeping those on top. And as this first freezer empties out, I'll move these over, but that's what those are looking like. I don't